Right then, it's the uh, it's the Jeff buys cars and Paul Truman podcast. I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try start the car with the correct key. Yeah, always helps. Um, it is there. Yeah, two of all the keys in my pocket. So here we are with Paul Truman. Hello, Jeff Easter, and general all round legend. Uh, he's just driven the import from. You've driven the import from Stockport to yeah. Malvern. Yeah. Now you're getting a train if you can. Hopefully, fingers crossed. From Malvern. Yeah. To London. Yeah. So you can go to Cambridge. Yeah. So you can collect your Volvo. V70 T5. 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 Well, hopefully. That we think is probably a D5. Yes. Hang on. Well, I'll sort the famous Jeff Buys Cars cameraman out, as Paul referred to it as. But... Right. Let's try that again. Uh, so. I think uh, b before we carry on, I think we should all start a, um, a GoFundMe for Jeff for a new car mount. <laughs> for, a new, for a new phone mount? Yeah, bless him. Um, he's, uh, he's struggling. Do you know what? The, I keep saying this. The best phone mount, because I've bought that many over the couple of years I've been making these videos. The best phone mount I've ever had is a TomTom -tom sat nav that's about 10 years old, yeah. some electrical tape, and a bit of Velcro. Yeah. I'm just going to go back to just using that. Yeah, you can't, just you can't beat it, can you? So, um, <clears throat> you're excited. I'm about, very excited. About your new car. Yeah, yeah, can't wait. So, tell, tell the viewers tell, what it is. So, I bought a um, V70 uh, T5. Um, it's apparently been mapped to 300 brake horse. P2 shape, I believe. Yes, so it's the latest shape. I think that's called P2. Yeah, it's the latest shape one. A bit new for Jeff. Um, hey, it is a, <laughs> it's a, yeah, 2000, I think it's 2000, so it's, it's the sort of 250 brake horse version. Um, it's done 332,000 miles. Yeah. Which should be interesting, and it's a manual. So um, it's on uh, C70 uh, wheels. Yeah. And it looks so, fantastic. And it's got, what, what colour is it? Uh, it's a lovely green. I don't yeah. know what the colour is called. We need to find out the name. It'll have some sort of exotic name. Yeah. It'll be like a very green metallic Pro or something Probably like something like that. But I'll, it's I'll, rare. We know yeah. it's rare. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so, um, so yeah, it's, it's somewhat completely different. And, uh, yeah. So, hopefully, maybe do the track day with it. Yeah, it's something different because you don't see obviously many Volvo's doing track days. You don't. So, so yeah, it should be fun. Cool, man. Like I said, it's just uh, just hopefully get the train, which the train from Malvern to London. Rail, rail strikes, by the way. Yeah, um, train to Malvern to London is fine, but it's actually from London through the little bit to the other side is going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah, so you could well be in for quite a long day today. Yeah, yeah, as I put on my Facebook this morning, it's going to be a bloody long day, but it'll be worth it. It will, because mm. it's always worth it when you're off to collect cars. Oh, of it's course, fun. That's, that's, that's off the fun of it. Exactly, so Paul's done a number of these journeys for me now, because um, you just like your cars, I think, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I've always, always liked uh, my cars, since my dad was, um, he, he's always, he never had sort of fast cars. Yeah. But his boss had fast cars. Yeah. So his boss had RS five hundreds, he had two two Bs, he had you name it, he's yeah. had them. And my dad used to bring them home. Yeah, yeah. And he once had a, a Cosmo um that was uh tuned by Collins in Co in Congleton. No way. And it was a famous one because it was one of the first ones it was a four uh, two wheel drive version, Sapphire. Yeah. That had been tuned to five hundred brake course. Gosh. It was one of the first ones that did it. And so my dad brought it home. Yeah. And it did the old uh, the old trick. You stick a fiver on the dash. Yeah, yeah. Say so, right, if you can reach that fiver, you can have it. So you know what? I've never done that trick with my kids. And, oh, uh, you can have. Do. But you need a fast car. Yeah. Well, you need something that pins you in your seat. I'll do it with a. Uh, I'll do it with one of the Saabs. Right. I'm yeah. Gonna... I'm going to mount this camera properly, so bear with me a second because yeah. we're going to park up for a minute here because you've got about 20 minutes for your training. Yeah, yeah, I've got about 20 minutes. Cool. So, um, so yeah, the other the car that you collected for me most recently because it was up near you yeah. was this red. Again, another lovely colour that I need to find yeah. out the name of. I think it's KN Red. It looks nice though, doesn't it? It does. Um, so we'll pull up here, which is the car park where I first filmed my Rover. Oh, very, very, very nice. Day. It's all right here. Yeah. Um, Right, I'll try to open the sunroof so we got some air. Yeah. So there we go. Uh, yeah, how's the um, how's my Saab? Oh, it's lovely. I tell you, so it is a beast. It is a like literally. It's one of these. It's like like I said to you earlier. You take it out, you're driving, you know, thirty mile an hour, forty mile an hour, absolutely fine. And then you put it in spot mode and you stick your foot down, and it's like it takes a big gulp of air. Yeah. If it goes, I'm gonna have you. 
and yeah. you poof, and the the way it puts you into like three figures. Yeah, you could easily lose your license with it because it just goes. Like I've a, always a found hell. that the arrows, the way they deliver their power, is just I don't know. It's like I know they're not the fastest cars in the world, but it's the way they do it that just feels yeah. It's something it's, about it. It's more of a case of like I said, it's it's literally like it's taking a big gulp of air before it goes right. You're having it, and it puts you in the back, and yeah. off you go. Um, I mean, the only thing I'd, I'd probably say about the Saab because it's been, it's got bell stands on it and it's uh, apparently had been polybushed. Yeah. And it, it's not the most relaxing of a ride. No, no, it's quite firm. It's like that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, okay. yeah. yeah. And you're on a nice flat piece of road and yeah. you do that all the time. Yeah. And so it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's yeah, you, know, you probably could do Europe in it quite easily. Yeah. You know, but it is a bit. It is a bit hard. That's quite an enthusiastic owner, then, isn't it? Oh yeah. What, what was he like, the chap? I don't know. I spoke to his wife. Oh okay. Mm. Uh, but interesting fact for you: the car, the other car they've got is or was a Ford Focus Estate, been turned into a pickup. Oh right. Okay. The back end had been cut off. That's quite funny. But apparently, it had been. The guy did it because his uh, daughter was disabled. Yeah. And it was used for the wheelchair. Right. But what we were trying to figure out, there was no, there's no ramp in the back. Yeah. Nothing to put the chair on. No straps, no nothing. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know how he lift the wheelchair up or what he did with it or what. Bizarre. But it, it was on a, um, a Q plate. Yeah. And um, yeah, it just looks about completely different. Tell you something funny about that, right? Because you got these weird, like, motoring energy connections, right? The only person I've ever known to own a Ford Focus pickup truck mm. is the guy that, if the cast your mind's back now to the very start of Jeff Buys Cars, I went and viewed a Volvo 850 touring car replica in Worcester. Right. And I went to look at it, and I'm, I posted it on the blog back when I was using a Google blog, which is before I was filming. Mm. And it was rough as. Yeah. It looked all right in the pictures, but I got there and like the stickers were old. Oh, and it was just, yeah. And it had been stripped and it had like a sort of semi homemade, not very good roll cage. And my thinking at the time was, I'm going to put an interior in this and use it as a road car. Yeah. So that very early in the Jeff journey, planted the seed for then, and I did end up building, yeah. building a race car. But that guy on his drive as well also had a focus ah, pickup that he built himself right and it looked terrible yeah <laughs> one of these it you know, so I, bad i would not drive that if you no. paid me no and it was one of those yeah. like you know you get a half finished project where he's like he started welding the boot and then given up before rust protecting it oh, so then the rust has no. attacked it and it's just his neighbors must just think like what, what is that heap on the driveway yeah. yeah no it's um i think it's one of these like i said it's um bless them they want to try but they get halfway through and go nah, I give up now yeah and then before you know it you're like chasing yeah. around after yeah that's so. that's why i am the way i am like i don't take on projects that i don't think i can complete within like a week yeah like i'm so obsessive if i start something i'm finishing it that day i can't leave stuff unfinished really? i just have to do it yeah really i don't never notice that yeah yeah no, no, i just never noticed that i thought you know <laughs> you know you're the most like laid back sort of you know it looks oh, like doing tomorrow. Yeah, no, yeah. I've never, never been a do it tomorrow. Not, it, I drive my missus mad because I'll still be on my computer late at night. So last night it was about half eleven, and she was like, "You know, come on, are we going to bed? Are we watching a film?" And I'm like, "I've almost finished the design for the Hilux." <laughs> oh, last by, bit. By the way, I I have seen. I've shown him. I have seen the the print, and it is awesome. It is. I'm, obviously, I'm not going to say any more, but it is awesome. Can do you look? think it's appropriate vehicle to use for your 16 year old daughter's prom? Depends what your 16 year old daughter. <laughs> I, 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 maybe not. I think so. Yes, I think it was perfect. Okay. Would people take pictures? Oh, yes. Yeah, well, there you Hell go. Hell yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if you're. The idea of the 16 year old daughter's problem is they want to be photographed, not the car. I know. I, I, I'm thinking from the dad's point of view. Yeah, like, no, oh, yeah. Look, darling, you're 16 now. Yeah. I don't want the boys coming anywhere near you, so I've rented you this. Yeah, oh, yeah. They, you, yeah. you wouldn't get touched <laughs> at all. You would be scared, pooless. Yeah, good. So, okay, that's good. That's good feedback mm. on, on, on my design. Um, so that's great. And, th and this car, which we're in now, is the import. Yep. Um, the wooden wheel's gone missing. I don't know where that is. It disappeared on the way down. It's, it's in my shed, actually. Still? Um, yeah, I've not put it on uh, yet. Why? Because uh, it's really hard to get it put on properly. Oh. George, who's watching, who you know as well, yeah. put 
this wheel on for me. Yeah. Um, and took this took the wooden wheel off, and um, I think we rushed it because we did it like in a car park. Ah, uh, right. And that's why it's not quite on straight. Yeah. Um, but this is generally a rather lovely car because you've had this. How long have you had this now? Probably about two months. That's really funny. So basically, what happened? How did you end up with this one again? So I came down in my Fast and Furious, the slow and spacious, the slow and yeah. spacious, yeah. And because I bought that, oh, that was it. Because I bought that back off. You. Yeah, you bought that back off, babe. And then was... sold it to George. Yes. Yeah, which was brilliant. Yeah. So um, you drove down in that. Yeah. To deliver it to me, and we're gonna get the train home. Yeah. So I parked in the tr in the train car park. Yeah. As I was driving past your house. Yeah. I obviously saw this. So I messaged you going, I've just passed your house, the Volvo looks lovely, da da da, you know. Parked up, I text you again saying, mate, I'm here, you know, keys where it is. And then you said, well, actually, you know. I'm I think sure. we both had a realisation, didn't we? Yeah. You were like, why am I going back on the train when he's got a Volvo? And I was like, why am I sending Paul back on the train when I've got a Volvo that I now need to find somewhere to store? He could just take that back and have it for a little bit. Yeah. So uh, it, it, you adopted it for a little while. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm looking in the sense of my house, there's a, a couch car park yeah. next to it, and nobody else uses it. Yeah. Like, the, the, the full street, nobody else uses it. So it's just full of mine, and now yours. Yeah. And this is his <laughs> cars. Yeah. It's literally just full of cars. Ideal. That are all, or, or, you know. So that's why it's like, yeah, yeah. just bring up here, park in the car park, everyone's yeah. happy. Which is ideal, because you, you've seen the parking at my house, it's not, not it's ideal not, at all, yeah. is it? yeah, no wonder your missus wants to go here half the time. Yeah, I know, yeah. It's, it, I think my missus is, um, she's always thinking about what the neighbours might possibly be thinking, even though the neighbours might not be thinking that. No, but I could probably see, because it's quite a nice... It's a relatively nice um, uh, little street that yeah it's, it's, it's nice it's, so i can imagine when you've got the truck's going to cause some problems yeah numerous rollers parked outside yeah the, the, the different states of um well there's, there's a lay-by outside my house basically that people use in the daytime and i have at times had three cars in it mm. and there's maybe five six spaces at a push yeah so it, it was just getting a bit silly but I, I do have the storage unit down at the farm but it's like a 15 20 minute drive to get down there so I'm always like, I should leave it outside. Yeah, just leave it outside <laughs> because it's, it's like, yeah. so by the time you get in the car and drive all the way down there and you're like, oh, right, okay, well, I'm going to need someone to then come bring me back. Exactly. You know. So on Volvo 850s then, you drove down last time in yep. your slow and spacious, which yep. was a 2.5 10 valve. Yep. And then you drove home in this, which is a 2.5 20, 20 valve. valve. Yep. How was the difference? Um, The only... The best way of describing it is when you put it in sport in this in sport mode, yeah. you, you can tell the difference because it yeah. picks up. It's a lot keener to pick up, yeah. and it will rev a bit more, and you do get a bit more oomph. Yeah. Whereas the ten valve is a bit more like you don't tend to put it in sport mode because it just goes, nah, I can't be asked. That ten valve <clears throat> drove like a car with a clogged catalytic converter, yeah. and I just wonder now whether it was slower than it should have been. It, it definitely it wasn't, wasn't fast, was it? <clears throat> no, it definitely wasn't fast. And I think that's the problem when when I drove that to drive this. Yeah. When you like say you put it in sport mode, and you know for a big old girl she picks feet up. Yeah. Um, whereas the ten valve, literally, like I said, you, you could put it in sport mode. Yeah. And it just went. Nah, I can't really be asked today. Yeah. So you just uh, leave it, leave it in comfort or whatever it is, and yeah. just poodle around in it. it. It's a nice, comfortable old old car, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah, I think it's. Uh, I think like I said, it's done me well. And oh, the string. Oh yeah, no uh, strings attached, no. apart from the one that was on the boot. Yeah, so the string, it was, um, somebody asked me to do a tip run. And obviously I had to say, I completely forgot I had this. So I said, no, no, sorry, I can't do it. And I walked away and I went, oh, I've got a Volvo. <laughs> so I said, yeah, sure, no worries. Bung this 20 quid, stick in the boot, the car, no problem, job done. And then obviously it wouldn't shoot. And I was like, ah. How big was the tip run? No, it was, a, it was a freezer. Oh, right, okay. So the freezer took up all the space. Excellent. So I was like, all oh, right, okay. So I went to go and shoot the boot. Obviously, the boot wasn't short. I was yeah. like, ah. And I left the bungee straps in the other car. Yeah. So I found some string. A piece of string. Yeah, wrapped it around it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then left it attached to the car like the car was like wagging its tail. Yeah, exactly. Drove down here with this. And then he got to my house and I immediately took off. I was like, what? Why didn't you just take it off? He's like, I couldn't bother. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's, you know, it's part of the charm. Exactly. So, part of um, the charm. we better get you to your train. You want yes. time? What time is it? Yeah, yeah. All right.
Yep. Let's go. Thanks Let's very go. much, everybody, for watching. Paul's off to collect his Volvo V70 T5, hoping that the D5 badge on the back is a joke. Yes, well, we'll find out. <laughs> I, I think... Uh, I think egg we'll, on your face. Yeah, it we'll, will be a bit if it'll turn up and go, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. also, one more thing while we leave. Uh, we did buy another car while we were in the pub, didn't we, really? Oh, we did, yes. Yeah. Yes, we so, did buy another car. There's another car on the way, which, again, is one that I'll pay for, but it's close to Paul. So. Yeah, so I'll pick yeah. it up and uh, bring and it down. Bring it down, and then we'll go and have another burger. Yeah. All right, thank you, everybody, for watching, and uh, I will... Um, let you know if Paul's car actually runs on diesel or not. Yeah, well, exactly, yeah, or runs <laughs> on something. Yeah. Jeff buys cars. Still, YouTube's most boring car channel.